everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I'm going to talk about how to in introduce a new hen to the hen house. I had a comment that I think it was made by Trisha from Becoming Me. I'll put her link in. And she, I guess she's got a couple new ones that she'd like to add but doesn't know exactly how you should do it. Well, when I got Dorothy, I don't know if you remember way back when, those of you that have been with me for a while, and when I got Dorothy and her seven babies, I had to introduce her to the hen house. The easiest way I find to introduce a new hen or any hen to the hen house is to put them in a dog crate, one of the large dog crates. It's, it's a wire crate. And you put that in, I put that right in with the, the chicken run so that all the chickens can see. And when they're first put in there, everybody's paying a lot of attention to that hen. And in fact, they will try to try to get the hen and fight with it or peck it. But because there's the dog wires in between, they can't get to the hen or to the new chicken that's being added. So after a while, they kind of like, oh, well, that's, that's just her. She's in there. And they lose interest in her. When they lose interest, which takes about three yeah. days usually, then you can open the door and let the um, hen that's inside out if she wishes to come out. I just open the door and let her decide when she wants to come out. And she will come out. Or... If you find that you don't want to do that, my brother has suggested that you put the hen in the hen house in the dark. Because when they wake up, they'll go, oh, were you here all the while? I don't remember you. But they'll, they'll pay no attention to it because they'll think that that hen has always been there. Just they've never noticed. But I think they would notice. I really do. So I always put them in the little dog carrier or dog crate. It's a wire cage, and this way they can't get to them. And when I introduced Little Lady, I pretty much had her out there. She had the fence between her like, like Mr. Brown has been doing. He goes out, and they see him. But there's some hens that come out of the enclosed area in the, in the fenced-in area. They've found a way to come out. And they have mingled with him a little bit or her a little bit when they first started doing it they would peck Mr. Brown but this last time they didn't peck at him they just ate right next to like they pretended that they didn't even see her and they were um actually doing quite well when he went over by the fence there was a different hen that was I think it was Dorothy that came over and another white hen came over and he did a stare for a little bit, and the, she did a little bit of staring at him. And then he went about his eating, and she kind of left him alone. So they're getting used to each other. I did get a question, too, whether I was going to put Mr. Brown in with the hens. And because I'm going on vacation in June, I will have to put Mr. Brown in with the hens. So he'll be outside so that they can see him often and this way when I do put him in he will be safe and if I have to I can always put him in a dog crate just to make sure that he'll be all right and that's how you introduce and I have a message for Doyle <laughs> Doyle <laughs> I know it Doyle had made a comment about the water thing where I said you drink your half half of your weight in water it's ounces, not pounds or gallons or whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was funny because he was saying something about he'd have to drink 10 gallons of water. No, 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 no. If it, It's your half your body weight. Like if you weigh... In ounces. In ounces. If you half weighed 200 pounds, ounce. you would drink 100 ounces of water. If you were one... Or if you're one... 50, 150, you drink, drink 75, 75 ounces. ounces, and not pounds, and not mm -hmm. gallons, so, and I did pretty good today, I drank all of mine, I think I've got about um, eight more ounces to go, 
and then I will have mine completed and then day I still have a few hours left before I go to bed so that's what I wanted to say and I hope that if you want to introduce your chickens to the hen house that you find it easy going and I will talk to you all again tomorrow bye